Hello and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to move towards or closer to um, 3D engraving. Um, we're going to do some experimentation in acrylic plastic because acrylic plastic shows up uh, I suppose the engraving process or the cutting process um, of a laser beam better than any material. Um, if you remember back in video 212 we cut these out of MDF. Um, it showed up, showed up pretty well but um, it still wasn't clear as to exactly what's going on and you do have to understand exactly what's going on with the beam and the step over of the beam and the grayscale cutting performance of the, the laser. Um, I've just started to do a, a swatch. Um, now I'm going to expand on this and cut this test card in the acrylic plastic and um, we're going to see what um, what comes out of it and we're going to put it under the microscope and examine it carefully because we need to understand like I say how the laser cuts into material to be able to perform the process of 3D engraving in material. Okay, so what we're doing here is I have my test card that um, has individual squared panels of, uh, should we say, dot matrix at different levels. So what I want to do is, or what I'm doing, is um, the dots or scan lines are set apart um, 0.1 millimeters and this one's 0.2 millimeters um, and I'm going to do a third one now and that will be 0.3 millimeters so what I'm going to do is first of all put some handles around that one right click then array copy so we want to make a copy in the y direction uh, so we put two there so it'll be this one plus an additional one uh, gap five millimeters and we say okay and one will appear um, now let's put um, it's actually there, it's okay. Okay. Actually, let's just move it around. Oop. Move it down slightly so it's nice and square. That'll do. Now then. This at the moment is on one layer. There was some confusion when I mentioned about layers and the colours down here. Now, each one of these little coloured squares depicts a separate layer or it enables me or the program to individualise each item here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do just that. First of all, we're going to 
take this one, this one is on that black layer and that's okay. So now we're going to put this one on a different layer so we can set the uh, parameters of the machining of this or the etching of this at a different level. So we're going to say we want this on a blue layer and then this one we want on a red layer. So you notice up here now the different layers and we will alter these to engrave, engrave. Okay so we've got three engraved layers now and they are all set, they're set at the same levels, 300 millimeters a second and power level, well I'll show you what the power level is now in a second. But first of all, we're dealing with the black layer. The black layer is 300 millimeters a second, bi-direction, which means the laser is going to fire in the, the left and right direct movement or direction. Uh, engraved blowing, yes. Okay. Minimum power of 12, maximum power of 20. Step over one, that's 0 0.1 millimeters scan line, step over. Uh, and we're going to say uh, down, down to the top, that means it's going to start this end and work its way that way. That's preferable with a laser because the, the air, the extraction air is flowing from the front of the machine to the back. So it means that as you are cutting, the vapors and smoke are being taken back this way. And then you're cutting over or getting rid of any of the dust or debris um, that is behind the cutter. Uh, it's just preferable to do that. So let's calculate this. Okay, now we're going to do the blue layer. Double click that. This one is, we're going to put this one at point 0.2. Step over or scan gap. I say step over because that is the phrase normally used as a, a tool progresses through material. That scan line is, is fine too. Um, calculate that. And the third one. Point three. And calculate that. So now we're going to send it to the machine. So you press download and then this actually goes to the machine. Uh, I, I now have to fire the machine up before this will actually light up. See it's greyed out at the moment. Uh, when I fire the machine up and it registers its datum area, this will, will come alive. I will have to get out of it. I'll show you that. So we'll start the laser up. And it's just going to his datum. Okay, download. So now you see this is nice and black now. So the laser uh, controller and the computer are reading each other and it comes up here saying communication successful. Download, download. And it's in. Cross out of that. Oh, just one other thing that I will show you. Um, and now if I circle that or put handles around it, 
right click then size you'll notice the size here it says 50.8 millimeters in length and 25.4 millimeters in width there are 25.4 millimeters to an inch so what I've actually done in a metric system I have made this exactly two inches by one inch that's important because we are talking about resolution of the dot matrix here right which is the actual <laughs> it's the spot size spot gap um, scan line step over all this is going to come into the DPI of a 3D carving or picture. DPI is dots per inch. And we are going to discover here which is the best uh, dot per inch, inch, two inch lens that we have in this laser. Okay, so I've jogged the nozzle now over to where I think the start position is going to be and I've uh, set the datum there. So now we'll just run a test, which means just run a, a, a square over the um, outside of where the laser is actually going to cut, just to make sure that uh, we are in the, indeed in the right position. Okay, I've just repositioned it now, and uh, we'll do another test. That looks a little better. Now then, let's start. Okay, so this is fresh off the laser. Uh, this particular one here, uh, the step over is 0 0.09. So this is the finest step over that we've, we've used so far. And uh, 0 0.1, 1, 5, 2, 2, 5, and 3. So first of all, we're going to examine these. So the Swash starts off at white. This is a grayscale image. This is how the, the um, laser actually um, depicts then uh, or, or machines a grayscale image. So it starts off at white where the laser doesn't fire at all and then gradually as you go to black uh, this is 100%. So we're now going to examine these and pay attention to the step over, the beam step over. Okay, so the first one here, you can see the, the laser just starting to fire here. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay. I will do my best to to actually show you this because it's uh, we're, we're working at a, a microscopic level. This is a, a electronic uh, microscope. Um, you, it's not necessary for you to have one of these, but it does come in handy if you want to fully understand what the laser is doing. So this is starting off at white. And you'll see that the laser fires an odd spot or two now and again. And it just gets greater and greater and greater. Sometimes it's elongated or a double fire or a triple fire. Um, but in other cases, it's single 
single firings of the laser. The laser works on a similar principle to the old type of black and white television screens or indeed the, uh, the um, earlier type of colour screens uh, where you had a, a similar to a laser in the back that was firing a, a dot that was scanning the whole screen um, 16 times or 32 times per second and the, the, the dot is very, was very similar size, it was about um, actually 0 0.5 of a millimeter um, somewhere like that and it got lighter and darker, lighter and darker and that's how it made up a black and white or colour um, picture on the cathode array tube. It's the old type of black and white um, TV screens. Uh, these LED screens work on an entirely different sort of method. Anyway, sidetracking a bit. Now then, so as I push this on through, you can see that as the laser would de depict a whiter colour or brighter colour uh, from grey to black. As the colour gets darker, obviously the firings of the laser gets more closely packed or denser until we get to a situation where it is white completely white which means the exact opposite that this would be black